I don't want to say that because this is a German <laughs> channel. No, it's but, okay. Um, you can say whatever you want. It's a free speech. Okay. So my kids always used to hop into BMW. They loved it. But now they're saying, let's go in this, not others. Really? <laughs> Since when are you a Tesla or electric car driver? This is my first electric car. Uh, but if you love that sound so much. Sound doesn't really matter at that time. The sound matters when you are at a speed of 35 and 40. Mm -hmm. But when you're picking up and going on a really good cruising speed, mm -hmm. very fast speed, then sound really doesn't matter. Now I've stopped worrying about it. It's more quieter inside. Mm -hmm. I can listen to my music now. That's the main thing, correct? Schön, dass ihr eingeschaltet habt. Ich bin im Moment in Fremont in Kalifornien und zwar bei der Tesla Factory. Also hier werden die ganzen Autos von Tesla, ja, dem super interessanten Elektroauto-Bau-Wahnsinns-Firma äh, ja, <lacht> hergestellt. So, ich bin selber ein bisschen nervös. Ich habe gerade eine Factory Tour gemacht. Das Video könnt ihr euch übrigens auch anschauen, rechts oben in den Infokarten oder unten im Beschreibungstext. Und ich habe jetzt neben mir, ähm, ja, wen habe ich dann eigentlich neben mir? Ich, ich switch jetzt übrigens, ja, ich wechsle auf Englisch, weil wir hier natürlich in Amerika sind. Sind. Und ich habe jetzt einfach jemanden, der, der selber ja, seine eigene Erfahrung gemacht hat, als ganz normaler Kunde, als jemand, der vielleicht vorher natürlich auch Verbrennerautos gefahren ist. Und der kann uns ein bisschen was erzählen. Also ab jetzt geht es weiter in Englisch, nicht wundern. So, hello sir, good to meet you. Same with me. My name is Rajul. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you. And uh, we already talked a little bit about it, so maybe we can repeat some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. So, um, how came that you're, you, you bought a Tesla? So I was not a big fan of electric car. No. This was the first electric car I bought. And before that I was driving, as I told you, I was driving BMW. Mm -hmm. But since I got this car, I've stopped driving BMW. It's not that BMWs are bad or anything, it's just that these yeah. are too good to drive. <laughs> okay, but you still have the BMW? Yeah, I have a 335i. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a X5 mm -hmm. and we have a Mercedes uh, R350. Oh wow! Um, so yeah, so you're a car lover. Time, a big time fan of German cars. Yeah, I've also driven Audi A6. That was my old car. But this is the first time I moved out of German cars to Tesla or electric cars. Uh, it's, it's a good experience. There are small small things in this car which uh, really makes it good. First thing is that, like, if it, if your backup cameras are not working, I'll tell you, like, from basic. Uh, car maintenance standpoint if backup camera is not working you at night time schedule a software update mm -hmm. come back in the morning it's all good yeah. you're not visiting any you know a service station or a body shop to make it work then while driving I was telling her also like if there's a heavy traffic and it's bumper to bumper in my BMW or even in my I have driven Toyota Corolla and Honda Civic also what happens when you're getting close to another car in tailgating mode, there's a lot of accidents. Mm -hmm. Here it beeps the moment you're going close and the sound is so big, it just alarms you and you get hold of steering and the brake. And it has saved me three, four times already from a small, small accident which happens on a heavy traffic zone. Autopilot is like, you don't need to drive autopilot for a long time, but sometimes what happens while driving for a long stretch, people okay. want to take a break for five minutes, stretch their hands and all, and they want to go back on the road. Mm -hmm. If you put it in autopilot, even though you're driving for, you know, two hours, put it in autopilot, just stretch your hands and all, and come off autopilot and drive. So you don't have to take stop anywhere. Mm -hmm. That's a good part of it. And the best thing is, it's no fuel, like it's cheap. Mm -hmm. It's really cheap. So what is your uh, experience compared to, let's say like a normal car? So I was a big, or I am still a big fan of a cars which makes, you know, good sounds like um, BMW M4. Um, when you, and especially manual, I've also driven Infiniti G35 manual. They used to make big sounds, and I like those speeds car, sporty car. So when I was on this, I was not sure this will give me that feeling, but it's amazing. Like it has a sporty feeling. It just goes zero to 60 in like fraction of seconds mm -hmm. and very stable you can take sharp turns mm -hmm. so sport look is also there comfort is also there it's a package all together and one more thing which my wife noticed like in our other cars when we put our windows glasses down and we are driving at 60 
there's a lot of air coming and the hair keeps going here. Okay, so women generally have this tendency, they're going for a party, hair goes mess up. Please <laughs> close the windows, put the AC, <laughs> the air conditioning on. And I don't like air conditioning quite often because I like natural. California weather doesn't really need an air condition. But in this design, it's so nice. Even though you open window half, the passenger sitting on a seat, their hairs are not that flying like in the air. It's like really? pretty stable. Oh, okay. I don't know whether they have considered that or not, but I experienced it. Oh, and okay. I'm just telling you my unique experience. And I was like, okay, this is good. Now I can drive the car with windows open actually. Mm -hmm. So that's nice. So, and, and you, you told me before about the experience that uh, your, your, your um, wife said something like you have to like refuel the, the BMW. Yeah. How was that experience? So like, Every time, uh, whenever you have a gas car, you go to a gas station and refuel it. Like I've been driving from last two months and I've stopped the habit of filling the gas. Now, uh, two days back, she asked me to fill a gas in her car and I'm going to a gas station and like putting a credit card, it feel like awkward, like why I'm spending so much when I really don't need to actually. Yeah. So it's a different experience, like this is the best. Uh, okay. I love it. I really love it. Since when are you a Tesla or electric car driver? Last two months. Mm -hmm. So we got in the month of April mm -hmm. and oh. since then I'm driving this. Oh, so you're very new, very new into very this. New, very new, very new. I've never driven in any Nissan Leaf or any other electric car. This is my first electric car. Uh, But if you love that sound so much, so is it not troubling you that it doesn't no, make any sound? A like, lot of time when you are at a speed of uh, you know 85 and 90 okay. i'm sorry this is not the speed limit you have to drive in california california <laughs> speed limits are in lower. germany it's allowed in germany okay. it's allowed so that's why i'm making that statement please yeah. <laughs> so if you're in that high speed i've noticed like all the cars whichever i'm driving we just put the windows up mm -hmm. correct so that the air doesn't come too much yeah. so when you do that if you have a porsche also porsche 911 or even Infiniti G35, I close the windows and drive. Mm -hmm. So in this, so sound doesn't really matter at that time. The sound matters when you are at a speed of 35 and 40, mm -hmm. but when you're picking up and going on a really good cruising speed, mm -hmm. very fast speed, then sound really doesn't matter. Now I've stopped worrying about it. It's more quieter inside. Mm -hmm. I can listen to my music now. That's the main thing, correct? And it, it sounds very great very because it's not disturbed by the other sounds. That is another thing. The music system is amazing. Uh, it's an upgrade. You have to pay extra for that. Mm -hmm. But you know, the speakers, mm -hmm. you can control the sound for, to move to a speaker by, by your finger. Mm -hmm. So you, if like your kids are sleeping at the back and only you want to hear the sound of the music, whereas all others are sleeping, You can just move it to the speaker next to you, okay. which is like amazing thing actually. It's nice, very nice. So what, what, what does your family say about all this and, and how, what, they, what they prefer? So I don't want to say that because this is a German <laughs> channel. No, it's But, okay. Uh, you can say whatever you want. It's a free speech. Okay. So my kids always used to hop into BMW because mm -hmm. uh, both the cars, 335i as well as X5, they loved it. But now they're saying, let's go in this, not others. Really? <laughs> But also like the BMW and everything, it's so, it's so premium, it's so luxurious it inside. So for kids, it should be very, very good in, a, in, a, in another car. Kids are like more nowadays um, attracted like when there's a screen in the front. You know, it's a small kid, four year old, correct? Yeah. Four year old kid doesn't really see the luxury. He sees what is attractive thing happening on yeah. the screen. So when they see a big navigation window, so they keep telling, you know, GPS there, GPS there. <laughs> so it's like, it keeps them busy and we are happy. <laughs> That's what we want, correct? So your kids are playing on the screen? Yeah, they, I mean, they can keep watching, correct? So I don't have to give an iPhone while driving to my kid to watch a video so that I can drive quietly. Mm -hmm. They are seeing in the front what's happening. They're busy with that. Okay. And that saving our cell phone data plan as well as kids are not on the phone they are at least enjoying the natural beauties around right oh wow yeah. so one last question we have like a social media um thing going on where i ask everyone about like what does electromobility means for you so maybe you can say to me like 
because now you have a little bit of experience with it now i think you can guess about like the future or what is what does it mean for you your family maybe also like as a visionary thing so what does electromobility for see, you means the way i see what it means to me is uh, a comfort it also brings savings um, and saving the fossil fuels which is very critical that the fuels can be used somewhere else and it's it's a altogether a different a, altogether a different era we all are moving towards like mm -hmm. if you see uh, for day to day commute we don't need to burn fossil fuels mm -hmm. we have electricity mm -hmm. and electricity can be generated either thermal or a nuclear power plants correct which are already generating it yeah, so sure. governments have already invested in it and solar like tesla solar i have at home that is tesla wall it's amazing so for me that's a future electromobility is a future that's where everybody should start thinking about it i never thought that i will ever drive a electric car but i think glad i bought a good car i'm happy with this my honest feedback i'm really happy with this thank you so much for your honest opinion thank you so much like it was so interesting it's always interesting to to see how people are reacting to this i i, I think you're like kind of like bright new in this in this yeah, and one last thing i will yeah. say like yeah, people sure. always say that um, teslas are expensive but if they do the math it is not mm -hmm. like average cost for running a bmw for a day to day commute to work and home is 350 to 400 dollars mm -hmm. okay then the carpool lane is another $200 mm -hmm. like this is like a bare minimum savings you can do when you go move to all these electric vehicles mm -hmm. in california and other states where they are giving more encouragement for these type of vehicles it's a saving so even though you spend like $1500 technically it's only $900 mm -hmm. there's a saving there <laughs> okay and as i'm from swabian it's like a special area in germany people love to save money okay. you 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 speak directly into the heart of the oh, people okay. who like want <laughs> yeah, to people save. always think that oh it's very expensive but do the math you are saving on day to day basis mm -hmm. like there you don't go to the service station if your backup camera is not working mm -hmm. your moon roof is not opening it might be a just a software update so it's a saving all together actually <laughs> thank you so much sir you, it was nice a pleasure to meet you me. and have a lot of fun with your car and i think a lot of more electric cars in the future. Sure, thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. Thank you. So, ähm, ja, vielen Dank auch fürs Zusehen. Ähm, wenn ihr noch Kommentare dazu habt, wenn ihr vielleicht irgendwas nicht ganz verstanden habt, naja, müsst ihr vielleicht mal ein bisschen gucken mit dem Englischen, ich kann nicht alles übersetzen, dann schreibt ansonsten mal in die Kommentare und dann klären wir das gemeinsam. Ansonsten wieder, bis bald. Ciao. <lacht> thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, thank you.